Hello friends, you are watching This Is Awesome Videos and today we are going to solve some past year JW problems. Now see, from today onwards we are going to solve a real IIT JW problem that is the questions from past year IIT JW papers and the papers of JW Advance. Okay, so this questions are very good, uh, the level is very tough and still it's going to help you in mains also okay so let's get started so this is the first one this is from the area and the code chapter what they say this is asked in jwa advanced 2013 the area enclosed by the curves y is equal to sin x plus cos x and y is equals to mod of cos x minus sin x over the interval 0 to pi by 2 is now see we solve the sum of only this curve that the area enclosed by only this curve y is equal to cos x minus sin x but here it is more there and we have to find out between this two curves so it's now whenever we have two curves we have to subtract uh, the area of one curve minus the another that we all know that but here the main point is more now how we are going to solve this let's look at that so we have first curve y1 it's sin x plus cos x now what I do, I just multiply it by root 2 and divide it by root 2. So what we, what I have, root 2 into 1 by root 2 sin x. 1 by root 2 can be written as cos pi by 4. Again here 1 by root 2 cos x. Then this 1 by 2 return x, sin x, sin pi by 4. So what I have, I have root 2 into sin x cos pi by 4 plus cos x sin pi by 4. That is none other than sin of x plus pi by 4. Okay, so this curve can be written as root 2 into sin of x plus pi by 4. Now, similarly, the same thing, same thing applies here for cos x, cos x also. So for cos x, I what I do, y2, I again multiply by root 2 and divide it by root 2. Mode is there. Now here, there is a cos x, so I multiply by root 2, so it becomes a sin pi by 4 sin pi by 4 into cos x minus cos pi by 4 into sin x so it becomes sin of pi by 4 minus x now this thing is very basic and we all know that now what i have to do i told you every time each and every time that whenever it appears a mode you have to find out where it becomes zero the inner the material of mode the inner part of the mode becomes zero so see here in the mode we have sin of pi by 4 minus x when it becomes 0, when x becomes pi by 4 and uh, at that particular point we have to divide the limit so what is my limit? we have to find the area between 0 to pi by 2 and here it mode becomes 0 at pi by 4 so my limit becomes 0 to pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi by 2 ok so, uh, now listen carefully the first curve is same for 0 to pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi by 2 now for the second curve see here if you put uh, the value between 0 to pi by 4 here, then this thing becomes negative. So this whole thing, if mod x is equals to minus x, where x less than 0, x less than 0, uh, x is less than 0, then mod x becomes minus x. So this whole mod x becomes minus x. Okay. And in other side, in greater than pi by 4 region, it becomes plus. So what I do, just look at this here. I just subtract one equation minus other. That means in 0 to pi by 4 and pi by 4 to pi by 2. Y1 minus Y2, Y1 minus Y2. Okay. Now see, I doesn't uh, subtract the mode here. Okay. This pi by 4 minus x can be written as x minus pi by 4 just because of convenience. Because here it is mode. So I can write it down like x minus pi by 4. What I do, I just subtract y1 minus y2, y1 minus y2 in the given limits. Now I have to do what I have to do, I have to disappear the mode. I have to spread the mode. So for that, what I do, I just put 0 to pi by 4 here. Now think, if I put 0 to pi by 4 here, then this thing becomes negative. So mode of x is equal to minus of x. So here minus sign appears and it becomes plus. So my integration becomes 0 to pi by 4 sine of x plus pi by 4 plus sine of x minus pi by 4. Root 2 gets common out from whole the equation. Okay. Now, this uh, bracket close here sorry not here this bracket completes here now in the new bracket we have root 2 common 
and now for here this is uh, same sine of x plus pi by 4 minus sine because in, if we put pi by 4 to pi by 2 here then it becomes positive so this mode becomes positive so we have minus sine here sine of x plus pi by 4 minus sine of x minus pi by 4 now the task is very simple we valued the sum now the task is very simple now what we have to do we just have to integrate this sine integration we all know that it's minus of cos x plus pi by 4 here minus of cos x minus pi by 4 similarly for here then upper limit minus lower limit upper limit minus lower limit then you will get the answer that is 4 minus 2 to 2 i'm not going in that part because it's a very simple thing okay so this is a good sub what we have to do we ha just have to subtract the two curves because we have to find out the area bounded between the two curves and here the, the main part the main thing is mode so we have to evaluate the mode okay now let's move forward to the next sum so this is also from JWE advanced 2013 uh, this is from the differential equation it is also good sum okay so what they say a curve passes through the point 1 comma 6 1 comma pi by 6 sorry it's 1 comma pi by 6 now we have the point let the slope of the curve at each point x comma y b y by x plus sec of pi by x where x greater than 0 then the equation of the curve is what now the slope of the curve we all know that the slope of the curve that means dy by dx we have the value of dy by dx is equals to y by x plus sec of pi by x okay and we all know that in a differenti uh, differential equation the constant c appears arbitrary constant and for finding that value of c we have the point here okay so we have all the material now we what we have to do we just have to apply the simple formula and get the answer okay so we have here dy by dx dy by dx is equal to y by x plus sec of y by x the method is very simple this type of sum we solved in jwe means problems also uh, so those students who don't know the method who don't know the past year problems please see the videos all the videos all the videos are very important y by x is equals to v so y is equal to v into x now differentiating both the side dy by dx is equals to um, applying the multiplication rule v constant x differentiation with respect to x is 1 plus x is constant and v is differentiation with respect to x is dy by dx so dy by dx is equals to v plus x dy by dx now just put y by x is equals to v in this and in this and this dy by dx is equals to v plus x dy by dx in this equation so what i do i just put it down here v plus x dy by dx here it's v sec v and now this v and this v gets cancelled out so we left with x dy by dx plus sec is equals to sec v now now what now just apply the variable separable method so v at the one side x as a what side so we have what we have here uh, we have 1 by sec v dv vv gets cancelled out and we have here uh, 1 by sec v dv is equals to 1 by x dx 1 by sec v that is cos v so integration of cos v dv is equal to 1 by x dx cos v is integration sin v is equals to ln x plus ln c log x plus log c okay so now we have for finding the value t i told you earlier that for the finding the value of this c we have this point now just put x is equals to 1 here and pi by 6 here now see for this is pi by 6 is the value of y this is the value of y so uh, before putting that we what we have to do we have to write this v as y by x so it becomes sine of y by x now sine of pi by x that means sine of pi by 6 by 1 so it becomes sine of pi by 6 x is 1 here so ln 1 then ln c so sine of pi by 6 is 1 by 2 ln 1 is 0 so ln c becomes 1 by 2 now what i have to do just put this ln c here so it becomes sine y by x is equal to ln x plus 1 by 2 so ln c is equal to 1 by 2 so sine y by x is equal to ln x plus 1 by 2 okay so this is my final answer okay so answer option sine y by x is equal to ln x plus log x plus 1 by 2 a is my right option so these are the sums from jwe advanced okay so now almost 10 to 
11 10 to 12 days we are going to solve the past year JEE advanced problem and then we are moving forward because uh, for those who don't only want to cover up to 50 marks we cover that portion how to score a uh, minimum 50 marks in mathematics okay so we cover almost a portion that covered minimum 50 marks and still we are going to uh, cover one or two chapters more but after solving the past year JEE advanced problem okay so this is all about today's video thank you for watching this video and if you like this video then don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button thank you